Hi, my name is Mrs Molyneux and I am Head of Chemistry at Tiffin School. Um, I will take you through a presentation to let you know about the chemistry department and what we do in chemistry at A level. Thank you. In terms of the chemistry at Tiffin, we follow the AQA chemistry A level. Now it doesn't actually matter which specification you followed at GCSE. What you will see is that there are some things that you've already started at GCSE, which we will then go on and extend. And there are other things that will be completely new to you. The way that the specification is organized is it's separated into the three main areas of chemistry, which are physical chemistry, inorganic chemistry and organic chemistry. You will have covered aspects of each of them at GCSE, but then it will be extended. You will look at them more in a quantitative way rather than just a qualitative way. And then there will be completely new things, as I've said. There are three exams for the A-level, which are taken at the end of the second year. They will assess different areas of those, different parts of those three areas and also practical skills. And there's also a practical endorsement that you get as part of all of the different um, sciences in all, all different exam boards. So we try to spend as much time as we possibly can working on practicals. There will be a double lesson every week with one of the chemistry teachers in which we will try and do as many practicals as we possibly can. We're actually one of the biggest departments in the school and we currently have 90 students in year 13 and 99 students in year 12. But a high proportion of our students are actually new to the school. Uh, usually around 40% so in, in each class there'll be around 40% of new students to the school. And in 2019, 74% of students achieved an A star to B in their A level. Obviously, with the whole exam situation last year, um, I don't have that those sort of data, the same sort of data from exams. In terms of the teaching and learning, we have six chemistry specialist teachers. We have four specialised chemistry labs which all have a fume cupboard in there. So we can actually do practicals in the fume cupboard that you wouldn't necessarily be able to do on the bench. And we have one full-time chemistry technician. What do students go on to do after they've done an A-level in chemistry? Well, if I had my way, they would all go on and do an, a degree in chemistry, obviously. However, what we find is that students tend to go on to a very, very wide range of subjects and careers. We have a high proportion of students that go on to do medicine and dentistry sciences, veterinary sciences, and approximately about 30 a year do that. We have a lot of engineers. But also what everybody needs to realise is that all degree subjects have um, placed chemistry in very, very high regard. They realise what sort of skills you need to have to do well in chemistry can be actually applied to most different degrees. In terms of those skills, what do I mean? I think it's pretty much obvious to most people that to be a good chemist, you need to have good numeracy, numeracy skills. Um, but there's also the practical skill side of it and working with others. They're pretty obvious. What people don't tend to realise is how much analysis there is and solving problems. You've also got to be able to work independently, think independently make decisions. So there are lots and lots of different skills that are very, very useful for all different degree choices. What else do we offer for students? At the end of each different topic, we have an assessment. That assessment will be used to see, to actually look at what um, progress they've made and actually is, uh, try and decide if they need any extra help in the topic. We have a weekly help session. Now, this is actually a drop in session. Anybody can attend. They can bring along material that they've um, struggled with in lessons or questions that they just need a little bit of extra help with. Other things that we offered for the students, we have a chemistry lecture once a fortnight. 
We get in as many external speakers as we possibly can. We look at different areas of the specification and look at things that are outside of the specification as well. We've had different chemistry clubs being run by students in the past. We offer um, two different extension clubs. So one of them is to for any students who are aiming for um, A stars in year 13. And we go through really, really difficult questions, make sure they understand the finest details of everything. And then in year 12, we have a stretch and challenge session where students, anybody can actually attend these sessions where students come along and we do difficult um, questions, basically, sometimes from the Cambridge Chemistry Challenge and sometimes from the Chemistry Olympiad. We always have students taking part in both of these competitions. They are extremely challenging and we try and take part in as many other competitions as we possibly can. And I'm just going to leave you with this. So graduates in science, technology and engineering and maths, which are the STEM subjects, are widely regarded as critical to the UK economy, providing the impetus for new developments that will drive discovery in fields as wild as astronomy, technical innovation, healthcare and food science. I hope that I will see a lot of you next year and I hope this has been informative for you. Thank you. Bye.